Okay. okay. Are we on? Is it, are we recording? Joe is filming for me today, so um, we're nothing glamorous. We never have a film crew. We have nothing. It's just my phone, and that's it. So, uh, well, you probably need to see me. I'm on loads and loads of videos. It's Keith Sansing. Start at the very beginning. I did promise on my presentation last week I will start at the very beginning. Um, we'll talk about usage of Sunsync. And this is really designed for people who've never... Electrical engineers, of course. I totally, as you know, I'm an electrician, electrical engineer by trade. And I only really support electrical engineers. So let's talk at the beginning. What is an inverter? What's a battery? Well, that's a battery. That's what it looks like. That is a typical solar battery. That's a 5.2 kilowatt hour. Um, we have lots of different, several different models, but they're all pretty much like that. They could be wall mount or rack mount. So the battery actually is pretty useless on its own. It needs an inverter. This is an inverter. I've got the cover off it. This is a, the Sunsync inverter. Um, it's quite an amazing piece of machinery. It's very, very different than a lot of our competitors. It's a completely different thing altogether. So let's talk about it. Very, very simple. You know, the battery connects to the inverter and the inverter connects to the mains. So you can use it in lots of different ways. And basically it's a storage. If you've got solar panels, and to be perfectly honest, in most applications now, you're crazy not to fit solar panels because solar panels are so cheap. They're not what they used to be. These be stupidly expensive. Now they are plummeted in price. So, you know, even in the UK where we get very little sunshine in the winter, you've still got to fit solar panels because it's free power. It's completely free and it's little capital cost. And, you know, the rate of return now, um, even with the electricity price, it's what, 35 pence or whatever, kilo, the cap, or something like that, I can't quite remember. But it's going up, it's going up and going up. So therefore, solar panels is always free electricity. You simply, using an isolator, you connect the panels to the inverter, and then the inverter connects the battery. And it's as simple as that. You know, of course, you have to be very careful. You have to make sure your battery cables are the correct way around, because they say to put them in backwards. But over the next few weeks, I'm going to take you through the training from opening the inverter, unpacking it, looking at how it's installed, um, some reference to older sites, and try to give you a full understanding of it. But for now, understand one thing. There are all inverters. An inverter is the device that converts the DC power to the AC power. They're not all the same. They're not all the same. Um, you know, our inverter is IGBT-based, IGBT insulated gate bipolar transistor. We don't use MOSFETs. The MOSFETs are not very good because, you know, MOSFETs are fantastic in your car stereo but you connect them into a, uh, on a complex load, on an AC load, and there's lots of eddy currents and back EMFs and all sorts of things flying around on, on the power. It's very complicated. Um, and MOSFETs actually don't like what they call back EMF. They can pop. And a lot of inverter manufacturers, they put in what they call MOV, metal oxide varistas, MOVs, and they're to suppress the back EMF. I'm not gonna go through all that. Sounds, sounds all too complicated. The most important thing, our inverter is a bi-direction inverter. That means one device can charge the battery and discharge the battery. So if you use a 3.6 kilowatt inverter, it can charge the battery at 3,600 watts and it can discharge the battery at 3,600 watts. If you go for a bigger one, an 8 kilowatt like the one here, it will charge the battery at 8, well it's actually, it's actually close to 9 kilowatt. It can charge at 9 kilowatt, it can discharge at 9 kilowatt. The other thing to remember inside an inverter, you have another part of the circuit which they call an MPPT maximum peak power tracker um there's lots of slight different variances but it's basically a buck converter it's a dc to dc converter that part of the circuit is what connects the solar panel to charge the batteries there's obviously lots of other things going on but it tracks the solar panel i if you see any of my talks and i always say about the reason why you use them it's very simple if you uh, and they're just very, very very simple mathematics if you've got for example um, 100 watt solar panel and you it's, it, it's um and you you, you you it's a 24 volt and it's four amp so 100 watt 24 volt solar panel very simple and you connect it to a 12 volt battery to charge a 12 volt battery many people do but the problem you've got is the four amp is what they call um short circuit current so it's isc um, which is the current short circuit which is four amp that's the maximum current a solar panel can produce when you connect the four amp to a 12 volt, 12 times four is 48 watts. So by doing that, you've instantly converted a, um, a panel, a 100 watt into a 48 watt panel. 
and, and so by using a tracker, a DC to DC converter, it tracks it high, at a higher voltage and you maximize it. And therefore, it uses what they call DC to DC conversion. It's like a mini inverter, a buck converter, and that boosts it. So all inverters have these things, MPPTs or trackers. Some people call them trackers. And this, the Sunsync all have two trackers. And in fact, we actually sell a 3.6. It has actually a seven, seven, over a 7,000 watt tracker. It's got two trackers, 3,500 watts each. That means, you, in the old days, you may have called it a seven kilowatt, but in the UK, unfortunately, due to regulations and stuff, we have to, the connection, the switch, the actual connection part, has to remain less than 16 amps. Um, and so, therefore, the track is slightly higher, um, but it doesn't actually connect to the AC, it just uses the power to charge the battery. So, therefore, you have enough energy on your solar panels to charge your batteries and use it all day as well. Um, if you're charging on an Economy 7 or off-peak electricity, then absolutely brilliant because you know the inverter can charge it, its full power and it can discharge its full power it doesn't have a separate battery charger it's one inverter it reverses it bi-directional it goes both ways that's why you can what they call ac coupler you can connect it to um if you've got an existing system and you want to put battery storage then use our inverter on an existing system so over the next few weeks, I'm going to take everybody, um, or maybe the next month, I'll take you on a journey to fully understand our product. I'm going to get the guys open it from the, uh, in, in the workshop, and you can see it, what you're going to expect when you unbox, and what you expect from the units, and how to connect, and how to program. I'll take you through the whole journey to fully understand it, and that's the intention. And I'm, I am presuming you've got basic electrical knowledge, because otherwise, if you haven't got basic electrical knowledge, please switch off. Don't watch it. You can watch it for fun, but don't attempt to connect. If you're not an electrician, I tell you, Bruce Foss for killing anybody. So that's the first start. That's our introduction. Um, as I say, I will go through. Please don't forget to subscribe. And there's loads going on. So keep following us on YouTube. Thanks for following us. Bye-bye.